Good morning, everyone. It is our it is time for our Tuesday, May eleventh daily devotion, and we are going to continue uh, our devotions on the Beatitudes. Um, today's reminds me of my favorite Neil Young song, "Heart of Gold," and because it is Matthew five eight, "Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God." When I think of that song, uh, it keeps me searching for a heart of gold. It could very easily just switch out. It keeps me searching for a pure in heart. Um, I think that's what one of the things that every every follower of God should strive for is having our hearts become more and more pure. Uh, one of the cool parts about thinking about a pure heart or being pure in heart is that we tend to think of, you know, our actions as what show us, uh, you know, how, how much we're striving to be, to follow God when really it's what is in our heart comes out in our actions. The more pure in heart we become, uh, the more our actions are going to reflect God, the more our actions are going to uh, be uh, be based on that love that God has shared for us, uh, shared to us. And so it, it just really is one of those things. Um, you know, I'm not going to say this is my favorite uh, beatitude. There are others I probably like more. But, but ironically, even in saying that, it's probably the one that gives me my most direction gives me the um, uh, the real under you know kind of the goal of what I want to become the goal of what I hope we all will become and that is more and more having our heart and our souls transform into the hearts and souls God created us to have and created us to be um, you know when it comes down to it, uh, being pure in heart has a lot to do with the one we talked about yesterday, being merciful. And that is that the more we, uh, we truly are, uh, are having our heart changed to be the way God wants it to be, it's the more we start loving uh, others, um, as John said uh, in his gospel, and then also makes reference to in his uh, letters, you know, that uh, we are asked to love the way Jesus loves us. And that is, to me, the center point of mercy, and it's the center point of being pure in heart. But the second part of this is really kind of cool. Um, not only uh, when we become, when our hearts are becoming more and more pure, when we're becoming more and more pure in heart, uh, when we start living our lives more for love of other people, we start to see God more and more. Uh, and it's not purely because of look at how pious we are. We are the mirrors of God. That is probably the opposite of really what Jesus is talking about. But the more we love other people, the more we really transform our hearts to be the way that God wants it to be, the more we see God in everything and in everyone. If we start loving the people who we have never loved before, we're going to see God in them. Uh, when we start caring for um, uh, nature and when we start putting material things aside and looking to what's really important, we're going to start seeing God in all of those things. And we're going to get a better and better picture uh, of who God truly is. And it's not in here, but I think it's equally as important, uh, at least for me. The more we become pure in heart, the more other, others will see God in us. And so we are actually by becoming pure in heart ourselves, we are making it easier for other people to see God uh, and, and to see the love that God has shared to them. And to me, that is just one of the greatest things that we can do as people and as uh, the children of God. So let us this morning uh, go to our Lord in prayer. Holy One, we thank you uh, that you have given us the ability to see our hearts, and that you have given us this goal to become pure in heart, to love like others, uh, to love like you have loved us, to care about other people the way you have cared about us. 
And Lord, when we do that, you have promised us, and we see it all the time, that we get to see you more clearly. We get to see God, uh, the whole God, more clearly every time uh, our hearts uh, continue to become more pure. Um, and Lord, we also ask that you help us to love enough, love others enough to where they see you in us as well. Lord, we ask this in your holy name. Amen.